Todd Heitkamp, the Warning Coordination Meteorologist for the National Weather Service Office here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Well, when I go out into the public and do some talks and interviews, a number of people always come up to me and ask me, Todd, how do you write a weather forecast? What do your forecasters use? What do they look at? What all goes into writing the weather forecast that we rely on so much? Well, folks, I'm going to use this opportunity, this video, to show you what we use and how we write our weather forecast. Okay, I'm going to see if I can catch the forecasters unaware of uh, what I'm actually doing here. We'll go out in the operations area. Jeff, what do you think about this upcoming forecast? Boy, the models are all over the place. I have no idea. I know. I mean, it could be anything. It could be 80 and sunny or snowing and 30 degrees. I guess we're going to have to take it to the dartboard. Good idea. Looks like it's going to be thunderstorms. Yes. I have no idea what this forecast is going to do. I guess it's time to, to pull out the magic weapon. Oh, magic eight ball. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Definitely so. Oh, thank you, magic eight ball. So, what do you think it's going to do today, Jeff? I think it's going to be sunny. Well, looking at this, it looks like it's going to be partly cloudy. Hmm. You know what we have to do? Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, lizard, spot. Oh, scissors cuts paper. I win. It's going to be sunny. Well, I see this afternoon I have an interview about the extended forecast for the winter season. I guess I better take a look and, and see what we can do about that forecast and what actually is going to happen this winter. What do you think the chances are for rain tonight, Brad? Well, I'm not really sure exactly. It depends on a lot of different things, honestly. All right, you know what we're going to have to go down to? We're going to have to flip a coin. Okay. Heads it rains, tails it doesn't. Tails, looks like it's dry tonight. Well, obviously all the video clips you just saw were staged and make-believe, but these are things based upon what we hear from you. Like, Todd, how do you write a weather forecast? How often do you use the Farmer's Almanac? Do you actually have windows in your office? Do you actually have a dartboard? Or how do you get that 50% chance of rain? Do you flip a coin? Those are all fun things that we hear of, and obviously we have to have a thick skin. We like to have fun with them as well. But folks, let me tell you, out of the, over the 25 years of experience I have with the National Weather Service, there is no one and I mean absolutely no one that I am more proud of than the people that I work with alongside here at the National Weather Service office in Sioux Falls or across the entire nation. Their service, their dedication, their knowledge, and their service to the public is second to none. I can grant, grant you this much. They do not take their service to you lightly. It is something that they always strive for the best, to give you the best forecast, the best warning service information that you can possibly get no matter where. The next video that we'll produce here at the office is going to be a video that actually does show what goes into writing a weather forecast, the forecast that you see on our website or hear on the radio or see on TV. That's what we're actually going to show. We don't want to do it right now, but we will show you in the coming months. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video coming from the National Weather Service office here in Sioux Falls. And speaking of the weather forecast, if you want the latest weather forecast for your area, feel free to give us a call on a 24-hour forecast information line. That number is 605 330-4444 or you can check us out on the web at www.weather.gov forward slash Sioux Falls. For the National Weather Service office in Sioux Falls, I'm Warning Coordination Meteorologist Todd Heitkamp and we'll see you next time.